23-21 to Loyola Academy, who we will see in our second game tonight, taking on Lincoln Way East. Kick will come down, and it will come down to La Javier Payne. And there's a reverse coming here to the near side. Can they turn the corner? Nope. The Gunners Grove North special teams leading the charge. Maurice Densmore along with Darian Gilliam split wide to the right to the top of your screen. Mill goes on the ground, right up the middle. Dupree and Ankle tackle away from breaking it. A character than you as a football player when you're going to a place like Wisconsin. Right side giving a lot of room. That is Densmore. And a penalty flag right at the end of that play. Here's our penalty call from our referee, Jim Glickert. Five dead face mask. 23 on the defense. And it's Manning behind Lynn, or behind Elliott. Elliott comes to the left side. And just as well, that coach here. Big play here on fourth down. He's going to take it himself. Pushes forward in the large student section for Downers Grove North, right there on the side of the field. Right in front of them, they say, oh, we stopped them. What a job by this Downers Grove North go from Mount Carmel. Lance, who has time, flings it. Hit a man. Didn't put much air underneath it. They get the ball, though, just about everybody on the roster. Coming to Dupree, gets a good block to the outside. Uh, uh, one of them being Gardner. The other one was Densmore. Plenty of time for Elliott. Delivers. Open is Kevin Gardner. Gardner dives forward to the 31. Off that defensive secondary for the Trojans. Over the middle. Wide open Gardner. Touchdown. 28-yard pass from Elliott to Gardner. And that was on a rope. Kevin Gardner caught a couple of passes on this drive. The last one for 28 yards and a score. Caught a couple of passes, Dave, on the exact same route combination. Mount Carmel loved it so much on the long pass earlier in the drive. They come right back to the same route combo. It's the... It's the... Let's see whether Lansu looks for one of the Thulans here. Looks right. And... Under through. Gets it to Manning. Manning with the fast feet gets inside the 40 yard line. Carmel Downers Grove North is only Manning's one. Quickly, that ball is caught by Gilliam. That may have been deflected. It was excellent coverage on the play. And Elliott delivered it a dime to Gilliam. There you have Gilliam. He's headed to Kent State University. The Fevers clustered way to the top. There they are on that far sideline. Elliott looks into the end zone. Delivers. Got him. Second touchdown pass. Same combo. Jack Elliott to Kevin Gardner. This one goes for 1,300 yards and a quarter. I mean, the natural inclination is to multiply that by four. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Good pass coverage. Dylan Conway right there to break it up. Pressure with starts. Lansu doesn't get flustered. He stays in there, tries to put it right between the numbers, but it's just great coverage by Conway. How would you like to have a six foot three inch, 205 pound cornerback in high school? That's Dylan Conway. Janicki gets this one away. Good kick. Fair catch called by Barron, and this one is free. Free ball, and Downers North will have it. The great punt from Jimmy Janicki. And the recovery for Downers Grove North goes to Weston Waha. The first turnover of the night. What a momentum play for Downers Grove North. A beautiful punt by Janik. He sets this up. And Wahop right there. When he had him at fourth and one. 
Antonio Colensis on for the field goal. He's three for three this year, as long as 26. This is from 32. And Downers Grove North will get three out of it. Matched up the top right of your screen. Elliott looking to the near side. Somehow gets it through to Densmore. I don't know how Maurice Densmore was able to concentrate on that one. Olin Thulin was right there. That's incredible coverage and an even better throw and catch from Mount Carmel. And what a job. First catch for Densmore. Elliott fakes like he's going back to Dupree. Throws a dime. All teams play and recovered that muffed punt. Comes untouched off the edge to also contribute to that sack. Second and long. Elliott delivers a little bit low and maybe a jammed finger in there for Densmore. Grabbing his shoulder. Yeah, he is. Dave. The way he fell, fell awkwardly, but. That ball was low. He had to go down and get it. Here's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, you yep. can see he falls right on that. Downers Grove North needs nine yards. Convert a third down. They've only converted one of five tonight. And it'll be one of six. The pass breakup from Javi Payne. They've been a little stagnant the last two drives. They give it to number six. That's Dupree. Varian Dupree up there. Looking left all the way. Now over the middle. There's Gilliam. Good hands. He has it first down inside the 10. I talked to him earlier this week. Said that it was bad coaching in a couple of situations. Let's see what he can do here. What, what does he call with only 17 seconds to go before halftime? On the ground to the near side, Densmore will spin it in. Maurice Densmore may have had a bum shoulder a few minutes ago, but he puts an important six points on the board for Mount Carmel with 12 seconds left in the half. Well, he's got a hurt shoulder, a hurt wrist, but no hurt feelings after Coach Lynch gave it to him during that timeout. Lynch goes right back to Densmore. That's how you have confidence in a young man right there. Lance in trouble. He finds his man. And here is the biggest play of the night from scrimmage for Downers Grove North. Parker starts. Here he comes again. Lance who recognized him but could not escape. Boy, that's in one of seven and third down conversions tonight. Low snap. Janicki picks it up and it's blocked. This ball rolling free. Is there a whistle blown the recovery and into the end zone? But our referee is standing back at the 26-yard line. So the referee, Dave, is going to say that the punter's knee was down mm. when he bent down to grab the football, but it was a very late whistle and a soft whistle at that because I don't know how many people heard that. Let's see it here as we take a look. Oh, yeah, his, his knee was down. That's a good call. Right there, you can see his knee is on the ground. Short field for the caravan. A little hesitation. They get it to Densmore. They're going to go for this here. To the end zone. Knocked away. So Mount Carmel looking to get six. They get zero. Quickly to the right side. Ooh, nice little stop. And go! And go! And go! Down that far sideline starts giving chase. How about Oliver Thulin? The sophomore. And it was the move, the stop. Right as he caught the ball that sprung him for the big game. And that is exactly what Downers Grove North needed. A huge play to get them out of the shadow of their own end zone. Watch the moves here by the sophomore. Breaks one, breaks two arm tackles, and he's off to the races. Starts does a nice job of hawking him down at the 50, but now Downers Grove North is in business. Double pass, here it comes from Thulin deep. Nearly intercepted. They've been turned away by Mount Carmel, but... It still feels like Downers Grove North is very much in this football game. If you're Jordan Lynch 
and you're on the Mount Carmel sideline, you want this drive to continue past this third down and try and see if you can't put the Trojans away right now. Elliott saw the opening, and he's got a big gain here to 35-40, or bounced out of bounds. Elliott straight up the middle. Not afraid to take a hit. He gets to the 42. Let's see if they get it to Dupree or Gardner here. Over the middle. And the catch is made. It is five for Mount Carmel. Elliott will keep to the five to the corner. Touchdown. 11-yard touchdown run for Jack Elliott. He is thrown for two. He is rushed for one. And Mount Carmel leads at 27-3. Half of their yards have come off of two plays, a 10-yard reception and then that long 39-yard reception by the young Oliver Thulin. Looks like his knee was down again. Yep, that's exactly what they're calling. Oh, man. Janicki, an excellent baseball player. He's headed to Troy State to play baseball and was making a baseball move there, get down and smother that ground ball. However, in high school football, you are down at that spot, and that is not a good spot for Downers North. Snap, Elliott. The handoff, Dupree. To make that Densmore, he goes in. Second touchdown for Maurice Densmore. That one from five yards out. Mount Carmel jumps over the 30 point. What a special memory it's got to be for those two guys. To, to, to be able to play next to your brother, I'm sure he looked up to him as a kid and watched him play for the first couple of years. And now to share a state championship stage with your senior brother, that's got to be special. Throwing a bit at the quarterback position. And he's going to run it. He has some room. Small bounces off a tackler. Small to the 30-yard line. 23-21. Casey mentioned earlier. Now that was the inspiration, the drive to get to this one. Direction on that Mount Carmel sideline because one water bottle got dumped and then it Downers Grove North to the line in a hurry. Wander gets it again, pushes forward, signal, yes, touchdown. Final two seconds as Janicki will hit it. And that will do it. Mount Carmel Caravan. Championship number 15. Tied for the most. In Illinois high school football history. 35-10 your final. Back to back for the Mount Carmel Caravan. Got Tabernacle. Athletic Director Phil Seagraves. Head Coach Jordan Lynch. And the Caravan Captain. Presented to Mount Carmel Caravan, who finished the season with a final record of 13 wins and one loss. Congratulations to the caravan. Well, you could see.